six common types of cracks in concrete when you see a crack in concrete slab or wall first assumption is typically that something has been done wrong but that's not always the case actually concrete cracks are very common some are even inevitable we explain six type of the most common types of concrete cracks below one plastic shrinkage concrete cracks when concrete is still in its plastic state before hardening it is full of water when that water eventually leaves the slab it leaves behind large voids between the solid particles these empty spaces make the concrete weaker and more prone to cracking this type of cracking happens frequently and referred to as plastic shrinkage cracking while plastic shrinkage cracks can happen anywhere in the slab or wall they almost always happen at retained corners corners that point into the slab or with circular objects in the middle of a slab pipes plumbing fixtures drains and manholes since concrete cannot shrink around a corner plastic shrinkage cracks are typically very narrow width and barely visible while nearly invisible it is important to remember that plastic shrinkage cracks does not just exist on the surface they extended throughout the entire thickness of the slab two expansion cracks just like a balloon heat causes concrete to expand when concrete expands it pushes against anything its way a brick wall or adjacent slab for example when neither the ability to flex the expanding force has can be enough to cause concrete to crack expansion joints are used as a point of separation or isolation between other static surfaces typically made of a compressible material like asphalt rubber or lumber expansions must act as shock absorbers to relieve the stress that expansion puts on concrete and prevent cracking 3 heaving concrete cracks heaving concrete cracks occurs due to the alternate freezing and thawing cycle heaving concrete cracks are formed normally the ground rises when it freezes and settles back down during thawing if the concrete associated with the soil does not rise and subsequently settles down with the soil then cracks also develop in it four settling concrete cracks settlement cracks may appear when the underlying ground has not been compacted or appropriately prepared or if the subsoil was not of the proper consistency a settlement cracks may also appear as a random crack above areas where the soil of the subgrade was uneven after the concrete was poured five concrete cracks caused by overloading the slab although concrete is a very strong building material it does have its limits placing excessive amount of weight on top of a concrete slab can cause cracking when you hear a concrete mix has strength of 2000 3000 4000 or 5000 plus psi it referring to the pound per square inch it would take to crush that concrete slab when it comes to residential concrete slabs overload of the actual slab isn't all that common instead what is more likely to occur is excess overload on the ground below the slab 6 concrete cracks caused by premature drying when the top of a concrete slab loses moisture too quickly Crazing cracks will likely appear while unsightly crazing cracks are not a structural concern crusting cracks typically happen during the concrete stamping process which is way of adding texture or pattern on concrete surface and